Frankincense oil has been sought after since ancient times, and for a good reason. It's been mentioned in the Bible, and it was even given to the Christ child at his birth. So this oil is pretty powerful. How do you get the benefits, and how do you use it in your daily life? Well, there are so many ways to use this oil. It's a very calming and a very gentle essential oil, which makes it a very good option uh, when you're not quite sure what to use. It's gentle enough to use on kids too. This is a go-to oil with my family. Just dilute, dilute it with a little bit of fractionated coconut oil or a little bit of V6 oil, and you can apply it to your children. So frankincense has a very relaxing and a very calming, calming aroma that's that's known to help elevate many aspects of your life. It's really good to use before you meditate, before you do yoga, because it can help uh, support spirituality, support inner strength. So maybe diffuse it while you're reading your scriptures. It's a really good way just to help provide a focusing aroma. That's just very centering, that's very grounding. Uh, that is one of the main ways that people use frankincense essential oil. So not only does it have those calming, balancing, um, grounding effects, it also is really good for your skin. Uh, amazing for your skin. Frankincense ha has been shown to significantly support your skin. It's really good at promoting the appearance of healthy looking skin. It can also help reduce the appearance of uneven skin tone, which is awesome. I love that, I really need that. So I love adding a couple drops of frankincense to my moisturizer and applying it at night. It can also help reduce the appearance of blemishes. So I, it's really good, I mean, people always ask, tea tree, frankincense, lavender, what do you use? Frankincense is always good for aging skin. And so maybe if you're getting older and you're still getting spots on your face, this oil is a great oil to use to help reduce the appearance and the look of those miscolorings or, or things that you, that you don't want on your face. It's also great to help rejuvenate and promote younger, fresher, fresher looking skin. So add this to your beauty DIYs, you can add this to hair max, you, you can add this to your moisturizers. This is also a key oil that's used in most of Young Living skincare products. So it's used in the Art skincare line, it's used in many of our skincare creams, many of our facial lotions, because of its powerful effects on the skin. You can also use it uh, like in a, as a massage oil after you, say after you work out, or you really need to feel rejuvenated, mix it with some carrier oil like V6, and apply it to fatigued muscles after exercise, or apply it to really any area of the body that needs just a little extra help. And then we also have frankincense vitality. So frankincense and frankincense vitality are the same oil. They are just they just have different labels. The frankincense vitality is labeled specifically for internal use and is the appropriate oil to use and talk about when you're using an oil internally. And frankincense this frankincense is the appropriate oil to use and talk about when you're using an oil topically and aromatically. Now, frankincense vitality is known to support general health and wellness. It's very powerful, it's very potent, it can support a healthy immune system, and it's also known to support oral health and hygiene. I love frankincense. People like to call it the king of oils, and it's for a good reason. If you haven't tried this oil, you don't know how to use it, start using it, and I promise you will see the effects and you'll notice a difference right away. So comment below your favorite ways to use frankincense and some tips and tricks that you have with it. Thank you.